proudly we hail. Hello from Hollywood, this is C.P. McGregor speaking, and welcoming you to another broadcast of Proudly We Hail, a program of your War Department. Through the courtesy of the Hollywood Coordinating Committee, we present Jack Carson as the star of our show titled Blueprint for Dreaming, written by Joe Scalpone, with music by Eddie Scrivanek. <laughs> When Tommy Smith, that's Thomas Smith III, was expelled from his fourth college, Papa Smith decided to give Tommy a last chance, working for him. Called to his father's office in the Smith building downtown, Tommy listens respectfully as Papa Smith talks it over. And the trouble is, you've got the brains, but you won't use them. You're lazy, that's all, and you'll never be an architect worthy of the name of Smith. And don't look so hurt. Well, gee, Dad, I, I can learn more about architecture right here, can't I? I doubt it. But you'll get your chance, your last chance. Yes, sir. You'll use the office right next to me. Oh, that's fine. And you'll work ten hours a day. Ah, uh, oh, fine. As my office boy. Oh. Until you prove you're an architect. Now, run along, I'm busy. Yes, sir, and I'll start right in. Tomorrow. You'll start... Oh, I, excuse me. I... Oh, certainly. I mean, uh, excuse me. Oh, certainly. Oh, uh, pardon me, miss. Yes? Uh, could you tell me uh, uh, if this is the uh, Smith building? Oh, why, yes, this is... The... Are you kidding? Hmm? No, no, not at all. Well, it is. You see, I'm, I'm just out looking for work. Very hard man in that office, uh, Mr. Smith. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, just one more question. Yes? Uh, is there a cafeteria in this building? There is, and I'm trying to get there before it closes. Well, do you mind if I tag along? Suit yourself. But I always eat alone. Uh, well, I just thought some coffee and donuts would brace me up. That's pretty discouraging, this job, honey. Well, didn't you get the job? No, no, I didn't. But I'll get along. I, I can still treat you to coffee and donuts. Oh, oh no, thanks. Really? With, with jelly in them. Well, <laughs> all right. But it'll be Dutch treat. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Come on, we'll sit in a corner booth. Uh, don't drop the tray. Oh, yes, sir. Will that be all? <laughs> there. Now, mind if I dunk? Oh, I insist, Mr. Uh, uh, Jones. Jones, but you can call me Tommy. Well, I'm Margaret. Margaret? Uh, 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 Quackenberry. Peggy Quackenberry. Well, that's a beautiful name. So easy to remember. Not confusing like Jones. Oh, yes, yes. Jones is so common. Well, not as common as Smith. Uh, oh, no, no. Not as common as Smith. <laughs> Uh, tell me, Mr. Jones, what do you do? Uh, architect. The best. Mm-hmm. You, uh, you work here in this building? Oh, uh, no, no, just visiting a friend. Mm -hmm. Male or female? Mr. Jones, when you go job hunting, don't you carry samples of your drawing? Samples? Oh, no, no, not me. Oh, how unusual. Oh, no, when I want to demonstrate anything, I just borrow a pencil and knock off a quick sketch. Well, here's a pencil. Let's see you knock off a quick sketch. Okay. Now, let's see. I'll, I'll do a house specially for you. Lots of sunlight and fresh air. A, a Western-style ranch house made modern. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I do my own landscaping, of course. That's a cactus bush by the doorway. Hmm. Well, uh, shouldn't my dream house have a swimming pool? Oh, oh I, I forgot. There you are. Say, that's good. I like my house. You, uh, you know something about architecture? Oh, uh, well, yes, yes. You see, uh, my fiancé's an architect. Oh, but, uh, but you're not wearing a ring. Oh, uh, well, not just yet. You see, he's very poor, like you. Hmm? Oh, sure, sure, but without a ring, you're open for dates. Eight o'clock at the drugstore at Main and Market Street tonight. Oh, please, I couldn't. But you, you like my work. You'd like to see some more. Well, I would like to see the plans on this house. There you are. You do have the complete set of plans, don't you? Hmm? The complete plan? Oh, oh, sure, sure, naturally. You know, so many architects have wonderful ideas, but they never work them out. They're just lazy. Uh, ain't it the truth? All right, it's a date. Now I've got to run. Don't forget, front of the drugstore at 8. Just to see the plans. Just to see the plans. No plans, no date. No plans, no date. Bye, Peggy. Hmm, a complete set of blueprints. Now, where am I going to get a... Oh, it's a cinch. <laughs> 
Hi, Dad. Oh, you back again? Say, Dad, mind if I borrow a set of plans from the file here? What for? Well, uh, I, I'd like to see some homes done in the modern style, something uh, different. And so would I, but you won't find it here. Not with the crew of hams I'm paying as architects. Oh? Well, have you got a modern farmhouse at least? Haven't built one in years. Well, have you got the plans on a big barn? No, 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 don't bother me, I'm busy. Okay, I... Oh, I know. I'll have the drafting department whip up some ideas for me. Don't uh, bother the drafting department. They're in trouble enough. Well, gee, Dad... The I... plans for the Smith Model Home of the Year are due to be published tomorrow. And today, my head draftsman doesn't show up. Gosh, I... Uh... Say, Dad... Dad, how long do you think it would take me to draw plans for a house? You? Forever. Hmm. But I've only got till 8 o'clock. What's in this cabinet, Dad? Nothing. Just plans for the new city mausoleum. Mausoleum, huh? Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just run along. What's that you took? Hmm? Oh, just some papers. If anyone calls me, Dad, I'll be in my office. Working. We pause briefly from our story, Blueprint for Dreaming, starring Jack Carson, to bring you an important message from your War Department. Do you know what a Willy Waugh is? The men in the U.S. Army task force of that name do. A Willy Waugh is a freakish Arctic storm characterized by snow, sleet, or rain and high-velocity winds. The Army Ground Forces experimental unit stationed at Adak, Alaska, is making studies of food, clothing, and equipment under conditions of severe cold. This is but one of many phases of the new regular Army program of scientific study and development. Army technicians are carrying on experiments in supersonic speed, cosmic rays, medicine, radio-controlled aircraft, and others. Skilled technicians are required for this work. Capable replacements at the rate of 40000 a month are needed to carry on the work of the new regular Army. Here is a chance for a high-paying, personally satisfying career and the opportunity to retire after only 20 years. For further information about the many jobs open to young men of ability, go to your nearest Army recruiting station today. They'll be glad to talk it over with you. Act Two of Blueprint for Dreaming, starring Jack Carson as Tommy Smith. Tommy has to produce a set of plans for his house, or else his date with Peggy is off. Well, it looks as if Tommy has succeeded. Well, Peggy! Peggy! <sighs> Hiya, Peggy. I made it. Well, you brought the plans. Yeah, here you are. Didn't think I had them, did you? <laughs> well, frankly, I didn't. <laughs> Why, I've had them for weeks. <laughs> it, don't roll them up too tight. They'll smudge. Why, the ink's still wet. Huh? Oh, no, no, it's not wet. It's just damp. <laughs> you know, the weather. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, let's go someplace, huh? But just to look over the plans. Oh, sure. I know just the spot. It's nice and quiet, and we can have a table to work on. Come on. Oh, come on, Peggy. Let's dance. Oh, Tom, these plans are terrific. I just love your house. Yes, and I just love to dance with you. The way your staircase curls down from the sun deck on the roof. The way your hair curls down around your ears. It inspired me. Tommy, you're a wonderful architect. Oh, here, give me those plans. Waiter. Uh, yes, Mr. Smith? Put these with our coats, will you? Uh, yes, sir. Thanks. Now, Peggy, come on, let's dance. You know, Peggy, I, I can't think of a line good enough to hand you. Girls never like lies. Oh, gosh, who'd lie to a girl like you? If there's anything I hate, it's a man who deceives. You wouldn't ever deceive me, would you, Tom? Me? Oh, whatever gave you that idea? Well, I just wondered when that waiter called you Mr. Smith. He did? Uh-huh. Oh, well, uh, you, you know how Oh, it is. I know how it Names is. like Smith and Jones are easy to mix up. Naturally. It happens every time. I see. Uh, Tom, will you excuse me a minute? Uh, I think my hair's falling apart. It is not. Well, I'd like to fix it. Wait for me at the table, will you? Hmm? Oh, Mr. Smith. Yeah, shh, shh. Call me Jones. Jones. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, a note for you. Thanks. Uh, dear Mr. Jones Smith, let this be a lesson to you. You signed those drawings with your right name. Goodbye. Oh, my gosh. Where'd she go? She had her coat, sir. She's gone. Oh, no. Peggy. 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 <laughs> 
Oh, this is amazing. Wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it. Oh, good morning, Tommy boy. Ah, uh, what's good about it? Tommy, my boy, this is wonderful. Huh? These plans, your modern ranch house. Hey, where did you get them? In the mail. <laughs> Thought you'd surprise me, eh? Was there a message? What message? No, I, I guess not. Tommy, my boy, you're a smith and a great architect after all. Well, uh, thanks, Dan. And I'm using this house for the Smith Model Home of the Year. Well, what do you think of that? Say, Dad, do you know of a girl named Quackenberry? 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 No, uh, what does she do? She ate lunch in the cafeteria yesterday. Oh, forget it. Listen, I'm sending in my head draftsman for your final okay on these plans. And Tom? Yes, Dad? Stop mooning out that window. None of those pigeons there are named Quackenberry. I'm in. <clears throat> now, what is it? About those plans, Mr. Smith. Leave it on my desk at... Oh, Peggy. Hello, Tommy. Oh, gosh, am I glad to see you. You're not mad anymore? Me? Oh, no. Are you? Me mad? Oh, oh come on, let's celebrate. I'll take you to lunch. Oh, but it's only 10 o'clock. What will your father say? Never mind. Well, he'll be sore at me. You mean... You've got a job here? Uh-huh. I'm the head draftsman. Now, wait a minute. So, about these plans... And I'll bet your name isn't Quackenberry, either. No more than yours is Joe. You knew who I was all the time. Sure. You deceived me. I deceived you? Huh. Excuse me, miss, but is this the Smith building? Very funny. And I deceived you. Well, let me tell you, Tommy Smith, you needn't right, think that... All right, all right, all right. We'll forget about the whole thing. Now, if you'll give me those plans, I'll... Pencil in a few changes. Well, hadn't you better get your father's approval first? It's my house, isn't it? Tom, what are you doing? Mm, just putting a few toys in the garden. A playground? Uh, like it? A playground for children? Well, certainly. You don't expect our kids to play in the streets, do you? This is C.P. McGregor speaking. I hope you've enjoyed our proudly we hailed story starring Jack Carson. Before leaving you, Don Forbes has an important message for all of us. Did you ever think the day would come when you could go to a store and ask for a can of bread? That day may not be too far off as a result of current Army experiments. Already, canned bread is being issued and tested in the Army under various conditions. In this way, food researchers determine the best way to maintain its flavor, texture, and stability over long periods of time. In other experiments, quartermaster technicians, working in conjunction with civilian scientists, are making studies of human appetite and nutritional values of different foods. This is but one part of the new regular Army program of scientific research and development. An Army contribution in medicine is the clinical recording camera that photographs in color at close range, making possible a pictorial record of surgical operations. Air Force technicians have produced planes that fly at transonic speeds. Army engineers are responsible for the introduction of the snooper scope, with which one can see in the dark with no visible light. These are but a few of the many Army accomplishments. Highly trained men are required to carry on this work. 40,000 men are needed each month to replace those being lost through discharge and selective screening. Here is an opportunity for intelligent young American men to obtain a good job and a satisfying career. High pay, liberal dependency allowances, free food, clothing and lodging, the chance to retire after only 20 and up to 30 years with a high monthly income, make the Army a financially inviting profession. Ask at your local Army recruiting station today about the work of the new regular army and the job opportunities for you. Thank you, Jack Carson, for a wonderful performance. Proudly We Hail will come to you again next week. Listen in. <laughs>